somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn guys tonight we are taking a look at 2000 snatch by the great guy Ritchie. now i've seen this before i absolutely love it so this is gonna be like a little treat for me i'm gonna be with you guys watching these two react to a movie they've never seen before i cannot wait well I have, it is true, I have not seen this, but we've been watching some other Guy Ritchie movies previous to this, and I can't help but love them, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to love this just as much. I know two things about this movie. The first, uh, my friend Drew, uh, one of my best friends from high school, would always say, Dags, Dags, Dags. I'm like, dude, what? He's, ah, it's from, from the movie Snatch. <laughs> Dags, you know, call his dog Dags. And the second, um, when his I was, uh, I, I, know, I know somebody in the movie with dark hair has a desert eagle. I realized that when I was shopping for my own Desert Eagle. <laughs> this picture of this dude keep coming up. Desert Eagle. I'm like, okay. So those are the two things I know. Dag and Desert Eagle. I know Staith and uh, Brad Pitt are in it, so it's got to be fun. So let's go. My parents to be were on the same plane when it crashed. They named me after the name of the plane. How many people are named after a plane crash? <laughs> <laughs> That's Tommy. He tells people who's named after a gun. Known him for as long as I can remember. I try to keep him out of as much trouble as he inflicts on me. But really, he's like my brother. What do I know about diamonds? I'm a boxing promoter. Don't they come from Antwerp? Oh, so now this is gonna go bef prior? The Septuagint scholars mistranslated the Hebrew word for young woman into the Greek word for virgin. Is that Benicio? Yeah, he's, right there. he's in it. Yes, well, no, but is that him right there? Difference in the what kind of friend would I be if I spoiled it for you? Well, it it looks like him with a fake beard on. Yes. <laughs> okay, there it is. Yeah, the spoiler. So they came up with the pop. <laughs> it's clearly him. <laughs> the virgin shall conceive and bear the son. You understand this? It was a virgin. <laughs> it's not every day a virgin conceives and bears the son. If you noticed, uh, Matthew Vaughn. Yeah, I saw that. I saw did. that it was a, a Matthew Men Vaughn yeah. film. You have kept us waiting for half an hour. Are you trying to give me heartburn? <laughs> what it? Was that Benicio del Toro? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I. That's yeah. what I was saying before. Yeah. He's not even on the poster. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, he said, what do I know about diamonds? Well, I just grabbed a bunch of diamonds. Michael Bay says no. Oh. <laughs> when does your plane leave? 20 minutes. Give me your gun. When you get to London, if you want the gun, call this number. Boris. Boris. He can get you anything you need. God, that's cool. It's an unlicensed boxing match, Tommy. <laughs> Not a tickling competition. What is? These lads are out to hurt each other. What's happening with those sausages, Charlie? Stop in these <laughs> Put ten grand, and it'd be nice to see change. What's happening with them sausages, Charlie? Five mini turkeys. Oh, dude, wait, he just said two. It was two minutes, five minutes ago. <laughs> Where did you get it? Boris the Blade. You mean Boris the Sneaky Fucking Russian? Heavy, isn't it? Heavy is good. Heavy is reliable. Oh, if hey. It doesn't work, you can always hit him with it. A dude from Wick. Mm -hmm. It's rumored that Bricktop's favorite means of dispatch involves a stun. Oh. A plastic bag, a roll of tape, and a pack of hungry pigs. You're a ruthless little cunt, Liam, I'll give you that. <laughs> but I've got no time for grasses. Oh. Oh. I play your cards right and I'll sort you out. You can sort me out by showing me out. It's hard enough to make a living in the boxing world, so every now and then you've got to do something that might not agree with your principles. Uh, Basically, uh, you have to forget you've got any. Are they Lancashire pigs? Who the f is talking to you, boy? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to stay in London only for a couple of days before he goes to New York, so move quick, OK? He loves to gamble. 86 carats. <laughs> beautiful, man. Cling, no fluorescence, a beautiful stone. Now, when do you get back? I gotta move the melons and the two grainers here and get a better price. 
couple of this. Talk to my cousin Dougie. Duck the head. Yeah. Duck. <laughs> Eighty-six carats. Where? London. 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 Yes, London. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you two girls up in my office. Yeah, Dad, you told us. Nice. <laughs> the weight is sign of reliability. I always go for reliability. <laughs> this will get messy. I'm not a fury. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> hey, kids, how big is he? Big man, that's for sure. Hey, man, come on, look at the size of this fella. <laughs> Bet you back a little. Can't you talk? Ah, you look like a batch. <laughs> way, Mickey. See if the fellas would like a drink. Oh, the murder one. We know more than done around here, I don't mind telling you. Get your hands out there, you cheeky little joint. Cheeky little joint. Offer the man a proper drink, right? Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost. No, he's minding a car. He just likes looking after cars. Get yeah, Dags. Do you like Dags? <laughs> <laughs> Dags. There it is. Do you like Dags? They're oh, Dags. Dogs. <laughs> sure. I like Dags. I like caravans more. You're very welcome. Dags. <laughs> Dex! 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 Oh. I see what all the fuss is about. All right, bad fellas. What <laughs> 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 axle? Want a money? Hey, patch for it. You and me. Oh, <laughs> oh. cheap shot. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, no rules. Oh. Unlicensed. Unsage. This is sick. I'm out of here. You're not going anywhere, you tick lump. You say it till the job's done. Oh, what did he just catch him all at once with a block and a jaw shot? Boom. Gorgeous doesn't wake up in the next few minutes. Tommy knows he'll be buried with him. What would the gypsies want to go to the trouble? explaining why a man died in their campsite. Not when they can bury the pair of them and just move camp. It's not like they've got social security numbers, is it? Tommy, that's it. He's praying. And if he isn't, he fucking should be. Not good. Bringing that thing in here. <laughs> What's your problem? It's only a dog. Where did you get it? The Jippos. Oh, no. They threw oh, okay. it with a load of moody gold. You know Jippos, soul. They're always throwing dogs in with deal. <laughs> <laughs> it better not be dangerous. What can I do for you, Boris? I have a job for you. I already have a job. 50 grand for half a day's work. <laughs> the one? I want you to hold up a bookies. From Russia with love, eh? I have stars to sell, fat to chew, and many different men to see about many different ducks. <laughs> Hey, he's on the He's done a rally driving call. Did you, Tyrone? Sorry. <laughs> Thought you said he could drive, Sol. Listen, don't worry about me. Just worry about that dog on my seats. All right. <laughs> I thought you said he was a getaway driver. What the f can he get away from? <laughs> <laughs> it's a natural. Get your tire on. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> a natural fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do that for? I didn't see it there. It's a four ton truck tire. <laughs> it was a funny angle. <laughs> It's behind you, Tyro. Whenever you reverse, things come from behind you. Let's go. Dog's got the seat. Oh, it's cold. I thought it had the seat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, too <laughs> shit. Swallow a whole bottle. Gorgeous George. It's a bare knuckle boxing match. Ooh, he was half his size. 
didn't expect him to get. Oh, oh George is supposed to be in the. Yeah, oh. to brick top. What about John the Gun? Oh, mad fish, Willie. Oh, not exactly Mr. Current Affairs, are you, Tommy? Mad fish to make mad. <laughs> and the gun shot himself. Oh. I do it for a caravan. It was us that wanted a caravan. Anyway, what's wrong with this one? <laughs> That's not for me. It's for me, man. You what? It's <laughs> not. <laughs> Show him the picture. <laughs> Turkish and Tommy don't have the benefit of subtitles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does a shirt match the, the drapes behind it? I lose all bets at the bookies. You can't change fighters at the last minute. So, no, don't have my fight, do I, you f prats? You can take bets at the fight. Put a lead on her, Turkish. <laughs> <laughs> match, heavy, a boxing match. Did he have a case with him? Yes, he had a case. And this schmuck is gambling? You're talking about Frankie. I've got a problem with gambling. <laughs> Four fingers, Doug. Effie, I'm not telling you. <laughs> you got a toothbrush? We're going to London. Do you hear that, Doug? <laughs> you got a toothbrush. Effie. <laughs> Shut up and sit down, you big balls. Is that a Concord? <laughs> I think it was. Yeah. Oh, was that him? I don't know. How many fingers did he have? I'm sorry, <laughs> I couldn't get the binoculars out in time. Binoculars. <laughs> Do you know who this bookie belongs to? <laughs> if you know what's good for you, right, you give me everything I've got. <laughs> How are you doing, Vince? I'd be doing a lot better. You stop using my name. <laughs> <laughs> if all bets are off, then there can't be any money, can there? I ain't buying that. Well, that's Andy, because I ain't fucking selling it. A few coins, but no <laughs> notes. <laughs> <laughs> Open because the security door. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the old ricochet. He got shot in the leg. <laughs> what are you moaning about? Didn't even touch it. <laughs> the security cameras just got him laying there. <laughs> Tyrone, what are you doing? Who's this man, Tyrone? <laughs> it's a man with four fingers and a briefcase, Finny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a squeaky toy. I'm trying to get the same. Oh. oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the tip, Bricktop. Shouldn't you f fringe? If I throw a dog a bone, I don't want to know if it tastes good or not. You stop me again whilst I'm walking, and I'll cut King Jacob's off. Oh. Oh. Must have got him in the leg or something. Oh. Is it? Will you explain it to him? Oof. <laughs> 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 in the case. You put the stone in the case. Then open the case and give me the stone. The only man who knew the combination. You just shot. <laughs> you <Yips>, will <much. laughs> oh, He just carries her. Oh my a god. Cleaver? See the leg go? Yeah. <laughs> Was it? So is that the end of Benicio? The... Oh, yeah, man. I think it's his, uh, <laughs> I think the time oh. in this movie has ended. <laughs> Go and put the kettle on. You take sugar. No, thank you, Turkish. <laughs> I'm sweet enough. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come <laughs> on. It's now your problem. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Keep the ten ground. Along with the body, but if I see you again, you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop for a morning, see you, Miss O'Neill. Tommy. You're a snake in the grass, ain't you, Tommy? <laughs> We're looking for my boy. Hey. Yeah. Right. I'm finding Mrs. O'Neill. 
I suppose you'd like to share that information with me, would you? I don't want you to get my buy into any trouble. Do you hear me? He's my only buy. And he's a good buy. <laughs> <laughs> they set two lurchers. They're dogs, before you ask. And a hare has to outrun the dogs. So what if it doesn't? What a big rabbit kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Proper. <laughs> now save your breath and cured your parts. Hey, look, so what's a heck of two roof lights? Uh, the status house frame furniture. And the uh, scarher cushions with uh, mats and shark pie cover. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a terrible parcel to the Paddywinkle Blue Bags. Have I made myself clear, Bags? Yeah, that's perfectly clear, Mickey, yeah. Just give me one minute to confer with my colleague. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand a single word? Just... <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> if I win, I get a card around. And the buyers get a pair of them shoes. <laughs> if I lose, I do the fight for free. Now, the last thing I really want to do is bet a pike. However, I don't really have much of a choice. Somehow, I've got to get him to fight. If I lose, well, I don't even want to think about losing. Okay, all right, the hair gets. What? Proper. Hey, look at that, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, smile. <laughs> they ain't gonna get them in that trunk, are they? <laughs> We're gonna try. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is oh. not good. Not a spot to be in. Oh, they got his ankle. Yeah, that's off me. I'll tell you, Rob, your bookie. Sometimes it pays to be the rabbit. I'm not a fucking witch doctor, but you are a bad boy yardie. <laughs> bad boy yardies. Are the witch doctor. Grab hold of his legs. What do you think I'm going to grab him by? Fucking ears. Hope this is not a bad moment. Do you know who I am? I do. <laughs> Someone mind telling me? Who are you? Then when you've got your six pieces, you've got to get rid of them. Because it's no good leaving it in a deep freeze for your mum to discover now, is it? Then I hear the best thing to do is feed them to pigs. You've got to starve the pigs for a few days. <laughs> They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about eight minutes. That means that a single pig can consume two pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> I shoot you, you got down. Yeah, he's got two in his teeth that Dad did for him, so he loves Dad. He's the best chance you've got to find him, Frankie. Six time. <laughs> One sitting. We're in trouble now. I'm coming. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Where was he last seen? At a bookies. Bookies? Passes the blower, Susan. A bookies got blagged last night. Blagged? Speak English to me, Tommy. I thought this country spawned the fucking language. <laughs> <laughs> I'll not bash the living fuck out of you in front of all your girlfriends here. Gonna make you watch my way on me. Jesus, Tony, you know who that is, man. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Comfortable mullet? <laughs> <laughs> You're dead, drunk. Driving down the street with your head stuck in my window. <laughs> You're using dog shit for toothpaste, mallet. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't think I'll slow down. I think I'll speed up. <laughs> Play some music, you know? right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Look at Army. The fucking telling these two black guys work a pawn shop at fucking Smith Street. <laughs> Very effective, Tony. Totally. It's not too subtle. He's <laughs> driving on the street. 
It's the Russian. <laughs> A Russian? Well, to be technical, he's an Uzbekistanian, but... Well, there it is. <laughs> the Desert Eagle. I've been dealing with those sneaky Russian dogs. Give me a name. No, oh, no. Boris. Boris the Blade? Yeah. As in Boris the Bullet Dodger. Why do they call him the Bullet Dodger? Because he does his bullets heavy. <laughs> he's a useless shite, that boy. Punish him for me, Errol. I want that pikey to fight. Oh, no. Oh, that Statham just working these guys over. Ugh. Four on one. This is not going to end well for him. thought smashing up our arcade might help me to persuade Mickey to fight. And if that wasn't enough, he thought it would be a good idea to burn Mickey's mum's caravan oh. while she was asleep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not sure that's the motivation uh, he was looking for. How silly do I feel? His mum is still smoking next to us, and I'm asking him to fight. I'll do the fight before he causes any more carnage. And if he'd said no, could have been a shot sight worse. Russians. <laughs> <laughs> can't trust him. <laughs> Ex-KGB cancer. He was a highly trained undercover agent. It'll be impossible to track down. Yo. Dad, there's a strange man down here who wants to sell us an 84 carat stone. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to tell. He's got a thick Russian accent. <laughs> it walks right into their shop. He's a right handful, this fella. So watch out. I hate Russians. I'll take care of him. Well, yours, Rosebud, old son. Not a problem. I'm going to have to do it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Get his keys and find out exactly where the stone is. I think that you've got something to tell us. Easy. Make it easy, Rosebud. Oi, do you want them to be able to talk or not? What the f do you mean, replicas? They look the shit, don't they? <laughs> and nobody is going to argue. <laughs> oh, my God. In case. In oh, in case we have to deafen them to death. <laughs> We're coming over. You hold him there. Hold on. He's not on his own. <laughs> We're off. Very industrious for a cousin. Grenades. <laughs> Floppy disks. So where is he, Tyrone? It's not just he. Three fellas went in the ass, and they locked Boris in the back of the car. Why didn't you tell us that? Eh? <laughs> the dog's squeaking. <laughs> Shouldn't drink that stuff anyway. Why? What's wrong with it? It's not in sync with evolution. Shut up. Not in sync with evolution. You want to kill him or not? I'll cut him. I got a blade. Yeah, that's the spirit. Do they fire? Of course they fire. Yeah, but how do you know? I mean, they're replicas. What do you know about replicas? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the human digestive system hasn't got used to any dairy products yet. Well, f me, Tommy. What have you been reading? <laughs> Let me do you a favor. <laughs> 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 Whoops! <laughs> me? Oh, no, no, me. I wouldn't know what to do with it. It's a knife, for God's sake. What have you used to keep your fork company all these years? A sharp side, a blunt side? Would you want a lesson? Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that Boris? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, this is so. That was cool. The camera <laughs> shots. Yeah, how they did that. Yeah, they tied in. I don't care if he's got fucking hazel nuts. <laughs> I want a gun that works. And I'm going to tell him. Well, good time. Surely got those minerals. <laughs> Come on, then. What does the Germans get? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps hitting them with that. Reach. <laughs> huh. Uh, Boris. <laughs> Oh, did he, oh, Boris walked away from getting hit by that car. Yeah. Let go of the gun. You're obviously the big. <laughs> no, no other side here. Are you? There are two types of. <laughs> there are big brave boys, and there are little mincy faggot. Boys. These are your last words. <laughs> now dicks have drive and clarity of vision. They're not clever. They smell pussy. And they want a piece of the action. And you thought you smelt some good old. 
and have brought your two little mincy faggot along for a good old time. <laughs> 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 Just a dose that'll make you wish you were born a woman. Like a prick. You're having second thoughts. You're shrinking. <laughs> and your two little boys are shrinking with you. Fact that you've got replica written down the side of your gun. <laughs> Fact that I've got Desert Eagle. Point five up written on the side of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, pull your socks up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Boris doing? Boris, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, I don't think he's the Dodger anymore. What's the case? Uh, <laughs> <it's so bad. laughs> right this, Boris. I told you. No. <laughs> Jesus. You! <laughs> That's seven. <laughs> Almost. Sorry. <laughs> Was eight. <laughs> ah, uh, they're maybe one off. Yeah. Eight, eight. Maybe he had one in the one in the pipe. Oh, seven round magazine, one in the pipe. Yep, yep. Damn, damn. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so so sweet. What is he doing down there? Well, I put it down there in case we got mugged. You ain't from this planet, are you, Vince? <laughs> <laughs> you should never underestimate the predictability of stupidity. Now, out of the car. And leave your water pistols behind. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if the gypsy knocks the other man out? I mean, he's done it before, hasn't he? We get murdered before we leave the building, and I imagine we get fed to the pigs. Well, I'm glad Oops. to see your club. <laughs> 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 it's it's old cards. <laughs> right about whether Mickey makes it to the fourth fucking round. Well, what if he doesn't make it to the fourth? <laughs> you show me how to control a wild fucking gypsy, and I'll show you how to control an uninged pig feeding gangster. Bollocks, I'm going for a walk. Got up for round two. All of a sudden, I'm awake. <laughs> this is probably the biggest break from the dialogue we've had in the whole movie. You mean look in the dock? I mean open them up. It's not a fucking tin of baked beans. What do you mean open them up? <laughs> a tin of baked beans. That's a bit strong, isn't it? No, you can't do that. He's you. Man, you've never heard a dog squeaking for you. That's goddamn Jesus Christ. Fucking dog's chewing on everything. Oh, he's holding out. <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh, the dog's got it. Yeah, you can't, you can't fire a desert eagle like that. That's not how it works. Come on, Tony. Tony, come on. <gasps> no. Did he accidentally get Tony? Tony. That's a Concord. Mm -hmm. You feeling all right, Mickey? Mm. Get a drink. Mm. You can't give him a drink. It's not for him, it's for me. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> right, Anderson. So pay attention to what you're doing. All right, Mickey? <laughs> Mickey? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, uh, did have a shade? Need <laughs> <laughs> have a shade. How long have we got to stay here? As long as it takes, they're shut up. Fucking hate pipes. 
Is he fucking stoned? He's like that before a fight. Do you know when you're going down? Of course he knows when he's going down. Nice tape job, yeah. Tommy. <laughs> Just oh, terrible. Oh, oh, oh. Holy shit. I like that one, Al. I'll have to remember that one next time I'm climbing off your mum. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a campsite full of pikers who might not think you're so f funny. Not when they're putting out the flames on their children's backs. Ooh. Now get up and have a fight. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that was good to tell him that. What's <laughs> up with them ropes? Yeah, huh? <laughs> they really got some uh, tension on Pretty them. Pretty fancy. Yeah. Ugh, no gloves. Is he gonna oh, knock? He's gonna not gonna happen, do? dude. He's gonna he's, knock he's this gonna, guy out. Just, First punch. Uh, he's gonna do it again. Oh no, 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 he's gonna do it again. Okay, it's just a little, oh, little, little uh, tappy uh, game. Yeah, I, I don't think though. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's going light on him too, yeah. it looks like. Just punching at his arms. Oh, oh. that was a little much. He's like, ah, shit. <laughs> Do you understand the consequences of what will happen if you knock that man out? Do not knock him out, Ricky. There you go. Do the yeah. old, I mean, I do the old hugging. He can't even put on a good show because he can't even lay a hand on him without KOing him. Or that he's like even like telling him what to do. Like, come on, come on. Oh, oh. Oh, it's such cool film work here. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> get out there and hurt him. Hmm. For fuck's sake, do not knock him out. Oh. Oh, wrong round. Uh, he's not even, he ain't even hurt too bad. Oof. Oh, oh, you know what? I've seen pictures of that right there before. Oh, okay. Of him floating in the air. I don't know if it ever made it to a meme, but oh, what the hell? Once the campsite's wiped out, I know it's going to be the same for us. Does Mickey got uh, Mickey got his own crew of people set up? So what do you do? Something very silly. You freeze. <laughs> Your life doesn't flash before you because you're too fucking scared to think. Look at Statham's face. A stupid fight. <laughs> but every action is a reaction. Oh, oh. shit! Lighten them up. Oof. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, what? Oh, that's the shot he that's heard. The shot he heard. Hey, the old talk Nokia. To me. If you want your friend to hear you, you'll have to talk a lot louder than that. Oh. Oh. Give me that sugar. I'll give you a sugar. Oh, oh shit! Two double barrels. Oh. Seven o'clock. The pikey had money riding on himself. That's the reason the bastard never goes down when he's supposed to. That's money on himself. Mm -hmm. Come on. Cleaning, we're worse off now than when we start. 
Yeah. I mean, who's above this guy? I'm in a camp, so I camp a fucking chair by now. Yeah, bollocks. Come on. What you doing here? What's got to do with you? Oh. So, what you doing here? Oh my god. <laughs> Dog's got the diamond. Dog for a walk. What's the problem? What's in the car? Say it's in a staring way. <laughs> what do you know about gypsies? No, they're not to be trusted. Alright, I'll get your dog. On your way. The dog, Tommy. Hi. <laughs> the dog. The dog! <laughs> Alright, boy. Come on, Jake. Oh. <laughs> The Easy. Easy. <laughs> Always playing silly games. Stop question <laughs> about Tommy and get in the car. Tommy! <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Daisy. Good boy. <laughs> Screw you. Daisy the yeah, boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the dog! <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got a dead man with an arm missing in your boot. Uh... Hey, Joe. Is that a tea cozy on his head? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy persuaded me to keep the dog. I eventually agreed. As long as he took it to a vet, couldn't stand that squeaking anymore. The vet found half an undigested <laughs> shoe, a oh. squeaky toy, oh. and an 84 carat. <laughs> 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 He's got the corn. <laughs> so what do you do? You go to see the man that knows about these sort of things. So what do you think? Do you know anyone who'd be interested? <laughs> oh my god. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, that's how it ends. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. But, oh. So I'm assuming that's the end there, Quinn. You know, honestly, I don't recall if there's a post credit scene or not. You might. Uh, looks like it's pretty short. I don't think so. Wow. Ugh. So much fun, guys. A I hope you had. I hope you had as much fun watching these guys as I did because this was just a riot. You know, this movie is like one of my go-to's. I absolutely love it. And the, I guess the reasons why are I love the intertwining of the stories. Every single actor is just an absolute character. They just just hit it out of the park with every performance. I love the setup, the tension, how stuff always seems to go wrong for Turkish and Tommy. They just they can't get it right. And um, uh, Saul and I uh, forget the other actor's name. I should know for how many times I've seen it, but mm -hmm. they're just a mess. Saul and Tyrone and then the other guy. Everything goes wrong for those guys. They, they got to, they're trying to hold up <laughs> Vinnie Jones with replicas. And I mean, obviously so much fun. But all that aside, the great work that the actors did. Just what an amazing story. And this is really the one that, I mean, Lockstock put Guy Ritchie on the map. But this one really took him to another level. Uh, so many people loved this movie when it uh when it came out and it was just an absolute absolute thrill ride i i completely love it and i can't wait uh to hear what you guys think i'll get a little bit more into it here i think oh, you have to give it oh well give it a score guys is there even a question i i, I, I one I of the easiest five out of five answers i think i've ever done for guy Ritchie's snatch an absolute pleasure to watch with these two gentlemen and you know i just man the way that the film was shot the way they worked in the music the quick cuts back and forth i mean nobody does it better than guy Ritchie. uh yeah i mean you said this is early on with him but you could tell that like he was doing a bunch of different things with the cinematography with the camera work i mean how he told the story the intertwining of like this the scene where you know the body's getting hit by the car yeah, as the, the milk. milk's getting thrown <laughs> out as uh they hit whatever the dude has the big blade and takes himself out I, I I did not think Vinny would uh, be, meet his demise in it, but yep. sadly he did. But that was great because I figured as soon as he sat down and he seemed so confident, I knew he probably knew that those were those yeah. were replica like, yeah, guns. He's table and he kind of does this a little bit. Yeah, and it is just great, and especially when he holds the hand, I think that's when he's able to look at it. But it was great. It was great comedy throughout the whole thing between the the brothers, between you know the cousin Avi who's. <laughs> Was pretending to be Jewish <laughs> and it's like going hardcore that it was freaking hilarious. Yeah. Oh my god, this was just a great cast. They did an amazing job. Like uh 
Dennis Farina was in there. Like yep. that was a pleasant surprise because, yep. yeah, I don't see him on yep. there. He did a great job as always, and I just I just love him in anything he does. This was so much fun. Uh, yeah, you you were like a kid in the candy shop watching with us man. watching it, much like I've done on other movies and mm-hmm. Avatar the last year better series not the whatever (laughs) (laughs) but this was a lot of fun i loved it of course i gotta agree with you i guess the the cinematography and how they told the story and how it all unfolded obviously the way it started with statham i immediately thought he was talking to the cops he wasn't and he was so that's a nice uh twist they did at the end because right away the cops showed up and he's like i'm out walking my dog dog. (laughs) Yeah, I tell you what, this movie was was so much fun. Um, I got to be honest, like I haven't really seen a lot of the Guy Ritchie movies. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen what's the other one, Lock, Stock, and Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Yep. Barrels. I, 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 I got, I haven't seen that one either. I haven't seen that one, and uh, some of the other Guy Ritchie movies that we've watched, I'm definitely I've, I've, down to watch. I've really loved this, the storytelling. Is just so unique how he does, um, you know, how he does the timelines and the plots and everything. Um, mm-hmm. The cast, Cancer, could you go back down to the cast for, oh, me sorry. for a minute? Yeah. Uh, a really, I mean, t- talk about a star studded cast. Uh, yeah. I mean, Jason Statham, Brad Pitt, um, Benicio del Toro. I mean, all, I mean, uh, the faces that I, sad to see him go that too. I recognize. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, um, Vinnie Jones. I mean, that guy just plays such an iconic character. Wasn't he Juggernaut in one of the X Men? Yeah, yeah he, he was in X Men the last time. I'm the Juggernaut bitch. <laughs> yep. um, so, just uh, a, a really really just a star-studded cast of actors um it's such a different role that i'm used to seeing brad pitt play yeah and brad pitt's one of my favorite actors i think he's he's incredibly dynamic he can play funny he can play serious i mean we've seen him in movies you know like fury where he's just i mean his acting is just really mm-hmm. next level of course once upon a time in hollywood one of i think one of, <laughs> one of the, the highest or one of my favorite movies that we've watched here on the channel um Donaldo uh Farina, I mean, he yeah. is good at everything. Yeah, as soon as uh, you saw him, I immediately screen. thought he was going to be one to be Gonzo, yeah. and he makes it through. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, it was it's interesting watching a Jason Statham movie and not seeing him fight though. Yeah, yeah and him being a badass. Like, first time typical I've ever, fashion. Yeah. First time I've ever seen a Statham movie where he's not just out there kicking ass. Yep. So it was interesting because look, he's a really good actor too, and I think sometimes he gets just just categorized in that action yeah, little kind of role which uh, obviously he does a phenomenal job with i actually got to meet jason statham in 2014 at the arnold classic so that was pretty cool um just uh looked like you guys were gonna go film twins well we yeah well maybe if we can get diamond dave to to drop the picture in here i'll send it over to him but um uh it was um it was pretty it was pretty cool meeting him um but um, no, this this was just a lot of fun, and I really think that this movie is is something that I, obviously I would have enjoyed watching a long time ago. But mm-hmm. it was, you know, there's always these this kind of catch twenty two when when we watch these movies. One, I enjoy watching it with my friends. Um, two, I enjoy watching it for the channel. But this is another one of those movies where I'm like, how the hell did I did I miss this? And my friend Drew. Uh, who I mentioned in the intro was like, Dag, Dags. He's always like, Oh, you gotta watch this movie. And I just, I just never got around to it. Um, uh, but yeah, this, this one was so much fun. Um, I feel like I've been, one, I feel like I've been saying this, I've been doing a lot lately. Um, but I'm gonna blame it on you guys because look, everybody out there has been giving us such great recommendations lately. And, um, you know, it's, um, it's it's no surprise here i don't think uh <laughs> all the way across i'm, I'm the going with i'm going with five um this was a phenomenal movie um i want to bounce this off you guys right. where does this where does this rank for brad pitt movies because he's got oh. i mean he's got so many so many yeah. epic it's, movies but tough. this was such a different role for him i mean yeah i mean I, well i think for you know for brad pitt i think it's obviously uh, huge kudos to him and his and his acting ability to be able to pull this off to to do the the accent i don't even know what you want to call it but and like he's just oh, sitting there and just having some fun you know just, and, and call the, it, the, it, 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 just, such, dog. just such a different role for him but yet 
we did see the scene where the caravan's on fire and they had the camera shot and the flames mm -hmm. are against his face. Like the emotion was there. I mean, the, the guy is telling a million stories with his eyes right there. And it was just awesome. Yeah. It's, you know, what's interesting is we're so used to seeing Brad Pitt and it just every movie he's in is like this heartthrob, right? Mm -hmm. Which. Yeah, yeah, but you did know. you notice during uh, the fire, though, he's in his stricken underwear and just, yeah, it's but there. You, but it, you can not, see like, it. Come like, on, oh, guys. he's so hot. Like, you know, his mom's caravan is on, yeah. on fire. But even, you know, just the scruff All and dirty being a, looking. a gypsy <laughs> and kind of dirty. And it's yeah. like everything he does, he's just either this heartthrob or this bad boy or something like that. I mean, either. When did Fight Club come out? What year did that come I believe out? that was like 98. Yeah, 98. That had to be right in the, in, the, in the late 90s as well. So I'm thinking, you know, Fight Club was right before this. He was a little bit more ripped in Fight Club. But um, you know who who didn't uh, who didn't love the guy and, and as Tyler Durden? Ninety nine, ninety nine. So okay. so Fight Club yep. came out like a year before this, and Fight Club he was like the bad boy, obviously fighting and and all yeah. just you know not the biggest dude, but just all ripped up. Um, so but it was yeah, it was definitely a just a different role to see him in. I thought it was great when he came out and knocked the guy out in one punch. Yeah, yeah just boom right off. It the reminded yep. me of uh, oh what was that. Uh, when he was in Troy, right, where he did, oh, where he did, the, yeah, oh, he was Nathan the, Jones. Nathan the, Jones the, does the, stab, the, the quick, yeah. the quick fight. Yeah, it reminded me of that, uh, like that, a perfect example. Him in 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 Troy, Achilles with the blonde hair. He's not wearing a shirt most of the time. When he has. But he wasn't wearing on, a shirt in Fight Club either. Something when he has something on, it's like this yeah, badass. Yeah, to do the yeah. got to do the shirts off scene in this movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so this was definitely different for Brad Pitt. Um, from moment one where they pulled into the campground and, and pitched this first fight. Now, you're a big guy, Richie fan. You've seen this before. Did they have all this planned out? I, I don't think they did at first, but I think as it progressed, I think they knew they had to have things had to in do place. something. Well, because it, it had at first they just wanted to rip him off on a trailer. Well, yeah. it had me wondering when and the first did. boxing yeah. match happened. Like, if I rip you off on purpose, then you're gonna. Then you're going to want me to come back and do a second round. Now, I've, yeah. obviously, I don't think they knew what the repercussions would be. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's obviously, they wouldn't have done that. But I'm wondering if, like, it wasn't like from the jump right, because from the get-go, if he, that would have been you know, if he knew that he was supposed to lose in whatever round or whatever, and all these people were betting big money that the other guy was going to win. Well, if he bet on himself, then that's a pretty good payday. And what if mm -hmm. all his uh, his pikey buddies yes. went and bet on him? Betting on him. So. I don't know. Uh, answer. What's your take on that? You think you think the Pikes were working I, I mean, them from the I, from the they jump? worked them for the trailer, but I don't think they had the long game planned out until the trailer happened okay. with his mom. Yeah. Then I with his ma. Yeah. So after that, I knew. Well, I didn't know obviously, but you should. They like he was as much as he was trying to get into the fire. He was like he said he was rather calm about it. Yeah. And then even when they showed up, as soon as. I think he they showed his face and they do. paused. I'm just yeah. like, oh no! Like my, it started turning because I was like, they only had two vans out there and they're all sitting in the van. Yeah, they're sitting ducks. See, I didn't honestly. Okay. I didn't. I that and I'm, I don't know. I'm so caught up in this movie. It was so much fun until the very end. Even when it came out at the very end, that's when it's like, wait, is it a setup? You know, does yeah. he have him set up? Yeah. Because he knew what the consequences were, and unless he had, you know, Statham told him over and over. Big consequences, big consequences. And he looked, the guy just lost his mom. So, I mean, you know, he, he, he knew he had something set up. But that was that was like a twist I absolutely didn't see coming at all. You know, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was how cool it was having some narration mm -hmm. by Statham. By Statham, yeah. Because, look, we, and we've talked about this in a handful of other movies. Sometimes it's difficult to truly tell a story Um just by the acting and just by the dialogue and look most movies don't have narration and there's obviously a ton of movies that are out there that we've rated very high that have been you know cherished by you know fans for you know as long as there's been movies but i think the narration really added to the story and then statham's voice he's just got like he's got such, that voice he's got yeah. such a cool voice you uh, think he'd have more like animated roles but he doesn't yeah. for me that added such a cool like vibe to this movie having him narrate it well and the thing that helps with that is you know obviously this movie was you know big all over the world but 
if they're going to show it in America, I think they needed to have that narrator to kind of explain some yeah. of the things, some of the slang they're talking about. They had Avi come in and, what do you mean? Well, what does that mean? It means rob him. Oh, okay. So it was good where they kind of, they do that where they have characters to educate us as an audience as to kind of what's going on. So with Statham, it kind of helped him doing the narration, explaining everything oh, that's yeah. going on. It, it helped I wonder if his voice isn't so distinct that like, maybe you know it. like it's you know it right away like and uh, and look well we watch, i mean like, at the time watch, of this came out though statham wasn't as well known yeah. as he is now i'm just saying like right now for yeah. not doing voice acting like down the road if yeah. it's just such a distinct voice although we have watched some animated movies you know recently we finished up um the how to train your dragon movies and you know gerard butler's was like okay <laughs> yeah, that's that that's is. gerard butler okay that's that's jonah hill i mean you knew mm -hmm. like right away who some of the voices were so maybe that's off the one thing that i wanted to bring up that they talked about over and over in the movie was it was honestly hard to tell a handful of times what brad pitt and some of the yeah, bikies yeah. were saying thank of, god for subtitles of course we have subtitles on just with the nature of the way we record our reactions I'm wondering if you've been in the theater. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. If you or if you were in the theater, do you think you would have understood what yeah. he was saying? I, I seemed now, you guys, you might have to help me out here in the comments, but I seem to remember when this came out, everybody made a big deal that they couldn't understand a word anybody was saying in this movie. That the accents were real thick. Obviously, Brad Pitt's character was hard to understand. So I, I think it was a big kind of to do that a lot of people couldn't understand uh, the movie. I started watching. Because everybody, everybody on my Facebook, all over social media, you got to watch Peaky Blinders. You got to watch yeah, Peaky we've Blinders. We've had a lot of suggestions for that. I well. started watching Peaky Blinders, and I I got through about maybe the for I don't even know, not not even two episodes, and I was like, all right. And then of course somebody came back like, dude, just turn the subtitles on. Yeah. And I was like, uh, <laughs> like what? like you just don't think about it. Like Ding! you want you want to be able to, but I you know I for me it's like I want to be able to watch. And kind of not to have to everything. not have to focus on the subtitles, but if it is a really good story like this one, mm -hmm. or you know, we, we might may you know do Peaky Blinders here on the channel. Yep. Oh, there's so much content there's that we so got. Much yeah, so much content. So I'm holding off on rewatching it again just because. But I, I got to imagine, like, I mean, answer. Do you think you would have been able to hear? Like, I, I would. The thing is, I you know I would have been laughing in the theater, but I would have been laughing and I've been like, I'm just laughing because I I don't know what he said, but I bet it was funny. Yeah. I would have just kept on doing that during it. Yeah, yeah. and it's but but there, I mean, because I I mean, he, he sounded like more like a more like a leprechaun there, just you know, just going in there talking about my mom, my dogs. <laughs> okay, so if you're in the theater, like you just paid money <laughs> for like, this, part of you's got to be like, I don't know what the fuck he just said, <laughs> yeah. and kind of laughing, but kind of like I don't know what he it, said. Yeah. But would have been funny is if they would have did the treatment like they did for. Um, Great Kali, when he was in the longest yard, they gave him subtitles. Oh. <laughs> well, and I think that's where having Statham helps. The yeah, the narrator, narrator, yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, you could see, look even if you can still get the storyline, but uh, but yeah, this uh, what this a soundtrack was, too. By the way. Yeah, this movie was. This movie was so much fun. Um, the thing Germans. that I liked is that it, it had a lot of twists and turns and a kind of a oh, big yeah. swerve at the end, but it wasn't like an over-the-top like M. Night Shyamalan twist no. where like Bruce Willis isn't actually alive. You know, it was it was just a real fun kind of twist. That just, they, they didn't show their hands on it too early, like you said, Oak, with you know with the whole gypsies being ready to uh, uh, to take out Brick Top. So. Uh, yeah, I just I, I loved how it was just enough of a twist to kind of get you, but it was, not. It was a twist, over but the like top. even when it did have that twist, it it all made sense. Yeah, it's like oh, I could totally see that yeah. happen. Yep, you know yeah, these guys was, kept running hey, into I, each I, other. I, 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 the, the one thing I will say, and obviously it wasn't a gripe enough to lower my score. <laughs> I loved the uh, the the two guys that ran the pawn shop. I really liked their yeah. characters, and at the end, they're getting hung up for having a couple bodies in their trunks. So, yeah. I did uh, I did feel uh, I did feel bad about yeah. that. Well, but because otherwise, we love Sal and Vinny, so right? Much. Yeah. Otherwise, Sal and Vinny. Was, yeah. uh, yep. Otherwise, this was a great one. Yeah, I, I even liked uh, Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, he was when he tried to get out of the car. Oh all my the leather God. just squeaking. Well, we could go on for a oh while, but God. we're gonna end it right there. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals.